for conscripts at our disposal. Welcome to the next game I'm going to be casting in StarCross Cup 2. This is another round one game. This one's going to be Tom of Action playing as Soviets against Red Wings playing as Oster. Red Wings going with an extra Pyo and then fielding himself uh, some Grenadiers. I'm thinking the extra Pioneers, uh, if he wants to get two Flamethrowers or even just one Flamethrower and a Minesweeper, either way, uh, Flamethrowers are extremely useful on maps like this with lots of medium range engagements and buildings and Tom of Action has gone with Armored Assault which we see sometimes more of a late game commander I honestly don't know if I like it that much on the one hand it does give you access to two different call-ins and you can kind of decide which one you really want but you don't get any of the nice early game things that these commanders generally offer for example you don't get shock troops like if you had gone shock rifle you don't get the heavy mortar if you had gone guard motor coordination so it gives you some late game options but it just kind of doesn't feel as good to me as uh as it could be. Conscripts going into the church. And Red Wings is making his way towards the south fuel. Good work, comrades. This now belongs to us. This territory is the enemy forces are attempting to capture our territory. Conscripts at our disposal. Red Wings taking control of most of the south. The center is largely uncontested, and here in the north, we've got conscripts engaging pioneers. And these Grenadiers are moving away from that fuel point to assist in the engagement rather than continuing to capture as he doesn't want this Pioneer squad to get forced to retreat if he can avoid that, but he will also be losing control of this strategic point in the north. One Pioneer has gone down, Grenadiers have arrived to assist. One conscript squad already forced to retreat, this one not doing a whole lot better, they're in open ground. I could have at least taken cover behind that tractor. These conscripts moving down to support from behind, but more Grenadiers have arrived and Red Wings will gain control of the building. More Grenadiers here in the center taking control as well. These conscripts are going to grab uh, Red Wings cutoff, however. In the meantime, and he's going into a sixth squad of conscripts, which is quite a lot. But it, I mean, it makes sense. He doesn't have shock troops. He doesn't have any any form of early game call-ins, so he's got to spend the manpower on something. And he hasn't teched a tier two. If he wanted to get maybe some team weapons or something, so he's just going to try to overwhelm his opponent with general infantry. And Red Wings has chosen German <laughs> infantry, <laughs> which, let's be honest, I don't think anybody is all that surprised by, and fielded the artillery field officer. Flamethrower picked up by Tom will force those pioneers to reposition. Doesn't quite get control of that cut off, or that strategic point, but it does decap it for a significant amount of time. The Grenadiers in this building, combined with the artillery field officer, will force that conscript squad to retreat. Grenadiers in this church should start to apply some pressure to the conscripts over here, and up in the north, Grenadiers are engaging more conscripts, but they'll be forced to retreat. And Red Wings will get control of this fuel point back, but again, his territory is not connected as he has to go grab the strategic point there in the north. So both of these players are just spread all over the map. 
Pioneers in the south were eventually forced to retreat by conscripts making their way down there, and Tom is going to get control of the north cutoff and munitions now, while Red Wings goes to retrieve control of his cutoff. And it looks like Red Wings has full control of the center village. It is ours. We now control the area. Splendid. Let's finish securing the center. Have to finish up here in the north as well, and Tom is making his way across towards the fuel. We'll be engaged by this flamethrower. Conscripts in the center will be engaged by Grenadiers in the church and the artillery field officer. We don't have any Molotov research yet, so he still doesn't have any way to force Red Wings out of these buildings. Except for the flamethrower, actually. And he's planting a demo charge on this point now. And he has purchased himself seven squads of Conscripts. So he doesn't appear to have any intention of teching up anytime soon. Or maybe even at all since he's going straight for Collins, and he doesn't have any early game infantry Collins, he's just going to be relying on conflicts. Our opponents are seizing a sector. We are losing a sector. Grenadiers will force two squads to retreat there. The squad hold up in the church is falling quite low and will make a retreat of its own. Loses two guys in the deep snow. Couldn't quite save them, unfortunately. But those conscripts will probably be next to retreat as these grenadiers move up into cover. And there they go. Flamethrower in the south will get control of the victory point. Moving to work on the munitions next, and conscripts moving down to support. This squad of grenadiers taking control of the victory point here in the north, and will grab the munitions as well. And a teller mine is going down here in the center. In pretty early preparation for the call-ins that are coming. I mean, they're not going to be here anytime soon. Still seven command points to go. So probably a good 8 to 10 minutes before they start to arrive. The flamethrower goes out on the Soviets. Or the conscripts. Mm, the squad falls too low to get off another burst. No lucky crits, unfortunately. And it brings the squad to about half health before being forced to retreat. And he's got more grenadiers healing up here in the base. We do have a medical bunker as well, so not much munitions remaining. He's purchased no LMGs. Just a flamethrower, a med bunker, and a teller mine. Those three things have exhausted pretty much all of the munitions he's managed to accumulate so far. Pretty uh, significant force of the conscripts making its way towards the south will prompt a full retreat from Red Wings forces there. Pioneers are going to grab the fuel and then follow suit. Meanwhile, in the north, a bit of a side engagement between these two squads. It looks like the Grenadiers might pull ahead. And maybe not. They're going to need to, like, snipe two models right now. Nope, definitely not. Conscripts win. The Grenadiers will be forced to retreat. And these conscripts are taking control of Red Wings' cutoff yet again, so fuel control quite firmly in Tom's favor. If we take a look, we're going to see a support armor core from Red Wings who has gone tier 3 rather than tier 4. Not going to rush that. Getting himself probably a Panzer IV uh, if he wants to have a little bit of extra firepower against what, the IS-2 slash T-34s that are coming. And if he doesn't, then he just wants to be able to deal with conscripts. He's probably just going to go straight for uh, an Ostwind. But since it's Red Wings, there's probably an equally decent <laughs> possibility of a stub, too. I, I really don't know. The enemy is taking our territory. Red Wings is definitely suffering from map control, however. He has basically no territory at all. Are 
losing a sector. He's gonna need to get some fuel back under his control if he wants his tank to arrive in, in a reasonable amount of time. Flamethrower forced to retreat there. And the artillery field officer will force conscripts to retreat. Red Wings has located that demo charge with his minesweeper. Has not found that one, I don't think. He also saw this mine, so he has a lot of things to try to defuse slash deal with somehow. Here in the north, a lot of munitions spent by Tom shoring up those defenses. And Tom does not have vision of this, so Red Wings could probably just defuse it. His opponent's not that likely to just randomly detonate it in the fog of war, especially if there are other engagements going on, but it is a risk, unfortunately. Ready for Two nice crits there, one more on this squad, but the flamethrower will be forced to retreat very soon. Grenadiers are engaging at range. Flamethrower does retreat, those conscripts will probably be soon to follow, and Red Wings has sent two squads up here towards, towards the north to get the territory back under control. His artillery officer, Grenadiers, trying to get some fuel coming in so that he can field a tank of some kind. Grenadiers are being engaged at close range by this fresh squad of conscripts. Oh, and there goes. Something was that the minesweeper? I think that was the minesweeper. Yes, unfortunately. And he's fielding himself a new one. All things considered, he did lose his minesweeper squad, but he cleared up two demo charges. So 180 munitions dealt with. He did lose the minesweeper squad. It's not the end of the world. It would have been good to try and get rid of that second de demo charge as well, but unfortunately that just didn't happen. Rifle grenade going off on this blob. Only takes out two conscripts, unfortunately. One of the squads will retreat. And there goes the other one. But throughout the course of this, Red Wings did manage to secure plus 23 fuel income, and while it looks like things are kind of going south for him, Tom's probably going to get most of the map back soon. He will be able to field something. I don't know if he's going to go Ostwind or Panzer IV. If he were going to go Stug, he probably would have done so by now. The enemy is taking our territory. It's pretty late, so I would think Panzer IV makes more, the most sense. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like he's going Panzer IV. Is out of contact. And he's actually given himself a fuel cache to try to offset the fuel control situation. Two squads of conscripts engaging here in the middle. It doesn't look like Red Wings can win this. Two of those grenadiers went down quite quickly. This flamethrower <laughs> gets two lucky crits right there, but. Even another squad moving up to support is definitely going to force him to retreat, and there's nothing he can do. This squad of conscripts is in a way, way too deep, however, and will be forced away by these four squads. And Red Wings is sending his minesweeper towards the south. There have not been any further demo charges planted that I'm aware of. And up here in the north, artillery field officer will retreat immediately from that flamethrower. Also, two squads of conscripts sitting here on the north fuel. And there it is, the Panzer IV is in production. Tom of Action, on the other hand, has 360 fuel and he will be at uh, 10 command points quite soon. And I'm thinking he's probably going to get the T-34s since I doubt he's going to want to wait the extra for the extra command point to bring in that IS-2. The Red Wings is very much going to need to get himself back down to Tier 2 at some point and start fielding AT guns if he doesn't want to get swarmed by those T-34s. And he has planted one Teller Mine, I think. There might be others that I missed. And one Teller Mine should be sufficient to take out one of those tanks with Panzer IV support, maybe. Two Teller Mines would definitely put him in a better 
position, but he's not got that much munitions because he hasn't had very much munitions control, and he's had to purchase a second minesweeper, uh, the medic bunker. I don't know. I think he must have planted more teller mines because he hasn't purchased any LMGs. I think. I don't know where they are though. I really don't. Panzer IV making its way up to support in this engagement. Tom does have access to AT grenades, so Red Wings will need to keep his distance. As long as he can keep these, pan uh, these pioneers nearby, however, he will have pretty quick access to repairs. Tom of Action making a push now for the center. And south. The Minesweeper will probably be forced away quite soon, if the tank doesn't move to support, that is. Tom still doesn't have tank command points, so Red Wing's window of opportunity. This Panzer IV has not quite closed. He's probably only going to get like one more good, one more engagement before those tanks roll onto the field. Though this is probably going to be that engagement. Forces a retreat from that squad. After taking two losses. This one will probably be soon to follow. And Tom is now at 10 command points, and we're going to see the T34 or the T30. Yeah, T3485 is called in as soon as he's got the manpower for it. He hasn't quite floated enough, so he needs to wait a little longer to be able to do that. Meanwhile, here in the north, these pioneers are taking a lot of damage. Close range retreat. There they go. Oh, they do make it across the road. Without getting sniped in red cover, it looks like they should escape. Meanwhile, here in the north, Tom's own flamethrower will force a retreat from that squad, and the Panzer IV has forced all squads in the south to retreat. We are losing the sector! <laughs> Tom just can't seem to get himself up to the, uh... 740 for the T-34s. Maybe he didn't never wanted them and was planning to get an IS-2 all along. So now that he is at 11 command points, he gets the uh, IS-2 instead. And the amount of time between 10 and 11 command points is basically nothing with all of these engagements happening all over the map. He uh, he got that amount of XP very quickly. And the IS-2 will easily force away that Panzer IV. The only thing it has to worry about is this teller mine here in the middle. But Red Wing's anti-tank gun has finally hit the field. It did go tier two, so he is now quite well prepared for this. As long as he doesn't lose his own tank, he should be fine. Red Wings goes to Panzer Faust, but it bounces off the front armor. Meanwhile, the Panzer IV is engaging over here. Looks like it's going to make a full retreat back towards Red Wing's base. IS-2 is going to be a significant problem, and Tom has enough fuel for a second one, so once he calls in that one, Red Wings is going to be extremely behind and be, be forced to deal with two IS-2s, which is not going to be easy. But his second anti-tank gun is on the way. Doesn't look too good. Way too many conscripts in that Grenadier squad will be forced to retreat. Looks like they should get away, and the flamethrower that was moving to support will simply disengage. So there 
Secondary field officer also in a lot of danger. Gets wiped as Panzer IV is backing away to safety. Sturmovic gets called in on the pack and it gets cleared. The second one making its way out of Red Wing's base. And he seems to be losing on all fronts. And the ISU has not hit a teller mine. I still think that that is probably the only one. Does connect with the uh, Panzer IV, damaging its engine, and the IS-2 will be able to clean it up quite easily. AC gun making its way to deal with this, however, and this one has been recruited as well. That IS-2 may be in a little bit of trouble here. It's taking a lot of damage. What is it doing? Get it out of there! That IS-2 might go down here. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> IS-2 has been destroyed and the Panzer IV is making its way up here to get some much needed repairs. Meanwhile, over here, conscripts are getting gunned down in the road by Flamethrower and another squad <laughs> of Grenadiers. And Red Wings has, uh, has bounced back into this game quite gracefully, I would say. Being said, Tom has a lot of fuel in the bank, and he's going to be able to make another one of those very soon. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. We have a full squad. Enemy territory is out of contact. Pack who is ready? Enemy forces are securing our territory. Pioneers reporting objective captured. Red Wings has just activated relief infantry for 90 munitions. He will be able to um, replace lost squads with lost truppen. Or lo not lost squads. Uh, how many guys does he have to lose? Probably. Six, I guess. I'm not actually sure. Oh, I'm losing four. Okay, so every time he takes four losses, I'll get a free Austro on squad. That's that's how infrequently I see this. I don't even really know how the ability works. Sturmovic getting called in on this capping squad here in the south. Red Wings has stopped the clock. As far as victory points, things are still pretty even and not all that urgent for either player. Even though it's 23 minutes in, they've barely, barely ticked down at all. Both of them still sitting at 350 or higher. Sturmovic doesn't really do all that much to that retreating squad. Meanwhile, over here, it looks like Red Wings is probably going to get forced away by these conscripts quite soon. And Tom still hasn't called in a tank as he's spending a lot of manpower on reinforcements, so he's kind of struggling to float up the 640 slash 740 that he needs, and uh, Red Wings has moved his AT guns back towards the center. And Tom is not really going to have AT guns of his own if he doesn't steal these, because he still doesn't have tier 2, and I'm not sure he plans to make it either, considering he doesn't have very much manpower to spare right now doesn't look like he's going to in the foreseeable future since AT guns are a pretty big manpower investment not to mention the cost of the structure itself Lots of infantry making its way to engage these grenadiers they won't get the fuel under control before being forced to retreat and this squad of pioneers down here gets strafed by the Sturmovic and the strafe will end they'll move into the munitions point to capture it now Red Wings Grenadiers up here in the north will force that squad away, and um, Ostruppen will be fielded after relief and infantry has come to an end. AT Grenade looks like it connected with the uh, Panzer IV there. And this IS-2 needs to be very careful. Now that Red Wings has a significant amount of anti-tank firepower, if that IS-2 were to hit the Teller Mine in the center, it could probably be destroyed as a result. And Red Wings has actually gotten himself a second Panzer IV, so having two Panzer IVs and two packs, he is very well prepared for this IS-2, much more prepared than he was before, certainly. 
That squad will be forced to retreat by that flamethrower. Wait, where did they get a flamethrower? I guess Red Wings lost his. I must have missed that happening. Yeah, Red Wings gave that flamethrower to his opponent. That's not good. And for engaging this IS-2 at range, IS-2 is actually going to disengage for some reason. The other Panzer IV and AT guns are moving to assist in the engagement. Red Wings, unfortunately, has lost control of the entire map, except for the center victory point, so he has slowed the clock, but the munitions and fuel situation is definitely not very good. He is trying to take control of this with his Ostrom now, and he's reinforcing some squads here in the base. In the meantime... And he's focusing mostly on trying to take out that IS-2. Appears to be his primary concern. While uh, he does a little bit of light harassment here. New guys, listen to me if you want to live. Needs to be careful though. If this force of Tom's makes it to Red Wings AT guns and clears them, he's going to be in a lot of danger. Oh no, Red Wings just detonated his own teller mine. Panzer IV shot. He's not going to be able to rely on that to take this IS-2 out anymore. This tank grenade connects with this Panzer IV. Already had a damaged engine though, so that doesn't do all that much. This pack is ready for that IS-2's advance. So is this one. Think. Maybe. The enemy is taking our territory. He's trying to round the corner, and he does make it just in time. None of the pack shots are penetrating the IS-2's frontal armor there. There it goes, it's brought down to about half. One of the packs has been cleared. This one's probably going to be soon to follow. Oh, it just got shocked. That was target weak point from that pack, shocking that IS-2. The Panzer IV is moving to attempt to block it. Sturmovic will uh, connect with that a little bit. Panzer IV shot bounces off that Panzer IV's, or off the IS-2's rear armor. The second Panzer IV shot also bounces. He's trying to round the corner now. Engagement is going to be very close. IS-2 shot misses. Panzerfaust will damage the engine. And there it is. Panzer IV takes out the IS-2 with its third consecutive shot on its rear armor. The Sturmovic inflicts huge damage on these approaching squads, however. And it looks like Red Wings may be forced to retreat. Maybe not, though. Panzer IV just barely kiting those conscripts to death. We'll take them out. Sturmovic strike is going to end somewhat soon. They'll probably make one more pass. And the Ostrupen are making their way to protect slash recruit some weapons. Wow, that Sturmovic almost killed the Panzer IV there, but the uh, strike is going to end now. And he's clear of the strike zone, and he's going to get some much-needed repairs. But he very much needs to reinforce, recruit, otherwise deal with the situation he's in because Tom does have 320 fuel and there's going to be another IS-2 almost for certain. Fortunately for Red Wings, he did manage to wipe two conscript squads during the course of this series of engagements. He didn't recruit that one. I guess he thought keeping the Ostrupen squad around was more important than recruiting the pack. I'm not entirely sure that's true. They don't really offer that much other than being able to recruit team weapons. He's gonna need that second pack when the uh, next heavy tank arrives. But I guess he doesn't want to lose the squad. What was that noise? Oh, demo charge down here, I think. I don't think it killed anything, though. There's a minesweeper in the area. I don't know. I, I missed it. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Grenadiers moving up to engage. We'll force that squad away. This one will be soon to follow. Tom can't really afford to reinforce these squads, or certainly not purchase new ones if he's going to continue with the IS-2 production. And there it is. Third IS-2 is on the field. Minesweeper will clean up some mines here. Red Wings has stopped the victory point clock, and things are still quite even. 350 to 270. Red Wings has fallen behind a little, but it's certainly not anything that's 
uh, not manageable. He just mostly really needs to get territory under his control and try to try to slow the the production of IS-2s because they're very costly for Red Wings to deal with, and he hasn't managed to hit one with a mine yet. And he's now only got one AT gun available for the engagement that's about to happen. Throwing a teller mine down now. This Panzer IV has been repaired. He's producing a new one, and this one is this pack is still in, t in uh, Red Wing's base. He will make a full retreat here, trying to turn about with this recently recruited AT gun. Doesn't get a single shot off before being destroyed. His Grenadier squad will probably be forced to make a retreat as well, and they don't get wiped. There they go. Panzer IV here is going to uh, try to pull back to safety and rally with the remainder of Red Wing's forces as this IS-2 lumbers towards his base. The other AT gun is in kind of a precarious position here. It does have a line on this IS-2, which is actually moving right past him. Red Wing's driving straight down the road. It looks like he's trying to bait him over a mine, but I don't think there are any mines <laughs> anywhere, so I'm not exactly sure where he's going. is going to be forced to retreat as well. The Panzer IV is moving to support. The IS-2 is slowly making its way towards the center as well. The squad does have to retreat and he needs to be very careful with this Panzer IV. It's dangerously unsupported. If he takes engine damage here, it will almost certainly go down. There it is. Engine damage next. One AT gun is available for this engagement, but I don't think it's going to survive. The second Panzer IV is on his flank, however. IS-2 has a very exposed rear armor here, but all the Panzer IV shots are bouncing. Two bounces in a row on its rear armor. It now has a destroyed engine and main gun. That's, I think, three shots now that just bounced off that IS-2's rear. Trying to finish the job here, it <laughs> gets abandoned. Has a destroyed engine, a destroyed main gun, and it's abandoned. That is all of the possible death crits you can imagine on this Panzer IV. It is so broken. We are losing the sector. But it looks like Red Wings <laughs> miraculously is going to be able to recover this tank. He's also managed to recover this AT gun over here, and this IS-2 is in need of repairs, but is, its condition isn't that bad. And I'd say for all of the unlucky, for every single unlucky bounce on the rear armor of that IS-2, Red Wings got a lucky death crit on his Panzer IV, so I guess, I guess he's broken even. Whoa, why did he do that? <laughs> he just killed his Pios. Oh, he was shooting at that crawler. <laughs> he just shot at that crawler and killed his bio squad. That's not good. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to recover this tank or not now. His conscripts are kind of a problem. Okay. IS-2, fortunately, is... Oh, it's self-repairing. I was like, wow, it has a lot of health all of a sudden. So there goes a lot of Tom's munitions on that. How much is that to do? 30. And while it's active, it cuts your munitions income in half, I think. Yeah, he, went just, he just went from plus 20 to plus 42. It's actually more than cutting it in half, I guess. Assuming those numbers are accurate. This is now German territory. There are two packs pointed straight at that IS-2. Takes a lot of damage as all shots just penetrated there. Oh, target weak point again! He does have a line on it and there it goes. Wow. Every single shot just penetrated. The Red Wings kind of got lucky there. For all the shots that bounced off its rear armor, its front armor sure didn't protect it too much during that engagement. Officer has arrived. And finally, the repairs will continue on this Panzer IV. Still hasn't been recruited by anything. Are securing our territory. Thanks for hosting, Love Nest. New units 
are ready to deploy. And everything there is going to be forced to retreat. If we look at the economic situation, Tom of Action is running out of money, he's running out of resources. I'm pretty sure he's now going to be on his very last IS-2, should he choose to call that in. And then he, he really will have exhausted his fuel reserves as his map control is waning. And Red Wings is pulling very much ahead in that regard as he's going to have two AT guns, two Panzer IVs, and still almost all of his infantry. He's also utilizing relief infantry now to deal with any losses he takes. And he has fully repaired that Panzer IV and should be able to recruit it. is on the field. This will probably be the last one Tom can afford to make, I think. But I guess anything's possible. <laughs> this game has certainly made me believe that more than ever. And these Panzer IVs are making their way up towards the north to try to deal with this. Tom Mount Machine Gun just completed. Teller Mines just went down here in the center, but it doesn't look like he's going to try and pull off any fancy baiting. He's moving to engage hard. AT Gun's moving to support as well. IS-2 is a little bit out of position, not quite ready for that engagement, I'm, I don't think. Okay, it has fully rotated. Doesn't look like Red Wings necessarily wants to go into an unfavorable engagement. Yes, he does. <laughs> here he goes. Sees the IS-2 and immediately backs off. Planting more Teller Mines here in the middle. And he's also got some troops making their way to grab territory here in the south. And once he cuts off this fuel, Tom's tank production will slow dramatically. Teller Mines are not anti-personnel mines, pioneers. Unless the personnel are inside of a tank. <laughs> Just FYI. Ready. Contract infantry. Not being forced away by lots of conscripts. This is almost Tom's entire army since he lost another of his conscript squads recently. His last one is over here. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Combat engineers will be forced away. IS-2 moving to engage. There is an AT gun available, but these conscripts will probably be able to clear it out. Doesn't reposition, which he's attempting to do now. IS-2 will also... Looks like it wants to disengage. It hasn't really taken that much damage, but it needs to be very careful with it. Panzer IV moves to engage. These conscripts brings them quite low. Pack has been recruited by those pioneers who will retreat. IS-2's uh, front armor bounces the shot, however. Panzer IV is taking a bit of damage. That shot, however, was uh, missed slash deflected and was simply crew shocked. Pioneers should be able to repair that damage and Red Wings full forces are moving straight for this cutoff here. But three conscripts in the south are getting a lot of that territory back under control. Repairs going off on the Panzer IV now. I, and. Uh, Another conscript squad was wiped during the course of that engagement, the one that cleared out this pack. So Tom is now down to only three conscript squads. And <laughs> Red Wings is actually up to four Ostrovin squads, so apparently his relief infantry usages have been stacking up over the course of the game. Or wait, I thought he had four. Can I count? I could have sworn he had four. Apparently not. I guess he only has three. We are losing a sector. Okay, never mind. Three squads of relief infantry. Pioneers awaiting orders. Our lines of supply are disrupted. Taking arms! The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. 
once these conscripts are forced from, from the field, Tom is going to lose almost all of the map presence that he accumulated over the course of this game. Unless he can make a surprisingly good play with this IS-2. Which has been fully repaired and is on its way back to the front lines. Shots penetrate. IS-2 is going back yet again. These grenaders falling rather low. Probably should retreat. There they go. Yet another conscript squad, and it looks like Tom of Action, like I said before, because he's lost fuel control and pretty much exhausted his reserves, can no longer afford to make tanks. He's fielding a bunch of conscripts instead, but I think he kind of needs AT guns. Conscripts are just going to continue getting torn up by these Panzer IVs, and that lone IS-2 can only do so much. He basically has to steal these AT guns to turn the game back in his favor. And now his map control is looking extremely bad, so bad in fact that I'm not sure he's even going to be able to afford self-repair in the near future. Conscripts are not being monitored and walk straight past that Gren squad. More conscripts are on their way to support, however. IS-2 is engaging here in the center. Packs are penetrating. Panzer IV is moving up to get vision and, and soak up damage. And that Grenadier squad just got wiped! No! Those four Gren squads were alive this whole game. This one has 42 kills. Wow, how many do they have combined? 28, 42, and 35. That is a lot of kills on those Gren squads. I wish I knew how much the fourth one had. He kept them, he preserved his Gren so well this game. It's such a shame. There go those conscripts though. These will be next if he doesn't pay attention. He's watching the engagement in the center, I think. There they go. They are retreating now, making a pretty desperate charge of these conscripts straight towards this Denzer 4, taking a lot of bleed on the approach. Not really accomplishing all that much here. And he, oh, Red Wings actually made himself an Ostwin. He finally, finally felt that he had enough of a lead to get an Ostwin. 44 minutes into the game, he can afford these luxury items. Forces up here to the front lines. IS-2 is hanging out here in the south. Grenadier is hiding behind this area. More teller mines going down. There's one there. There's one here. If the IS-2 hits a single one of those teller mines, where did that land? <laughs> Somewhere. It could probably be the end of the game if it actually hits one of those teller mines. He still doesn't have fuel for another one. He'll use to only conscripts. It's basically the only thing he has that even makes possible for him, if it is possible at all. Crossing the ice, trying to finish off that squad. Couldn't quite connect. Looks like he's just going to go all the way in, though. 
there's certainly not much of a reason for him not to. IS-2 just took engine, heavy engine damage, I guess, hitting a teller mine. I think it actually hit two teller mines. And there it is, playback over, Red Wings has won. Well, I have to say, I didn't know if Red Wings was going to be able to pull this off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for donating, Grimer. Yes, I didn't know if Red Wings was going to be able to pull this off. I mean, there was a point where Tom had almost every single point on the map. He had an IS-2 and Red Wings had only a Panzer IV and two AT guns. Somehow managed to turn it around from nothing. But that's the Red Wings we've all come to know and love and almost expect, to be honest. I mean... If anybody, if anybody can pull it off, I guess it's Red Wings, and that's that's exactly what we saw here. So good game, well played. Axis wins, thanks to the power of German infantry doctrine.